Ball State University Bakersfield ahead of this morning's commencement ceremony. Here at CSUB, we've got more than 3,000 students getting ready to graduate. But we're also talking about the academic achievements of all of our students as they get ready for summer break. Now, during the summer months, of course, there is a big concern, and that is learning loss because there are so many weeks out of the classroom. That's true. But our kids do deserve a break. They do. They so do. So I love the idea of making learning fun. Uh, joining us this morning is my husband, Justin Jansen. I was going to say, do you recognize him? <laughs> I recognize this guy. Uh, <laughs> you probably do too. He's uh, been on almost as much as I have. Uh, County Superintendent of Schools STEAM Specialist. I know this is a huge passion of yours, is making learning fun and interactive. That's exactly right. And really the bigger picture with our summer learning loss is thinking of learning doesn't just happen inside those four walls in the classroom for 180 days, right. but it can happen everywhere. And that's what we're trying to build, lifelong learners. So we have a few activities that kids can do during the summer where it's not head in a textbook, you know, doing math problems, but it's making learning accessible and fun to everyone. You know, we have this chance. We get to read. I mean, think right. about how many years in the past reading was only for nobles or only right. for a selected few we get to. So we're trying to encourage kids to use that, not just sit in front of a screen the entire the and, entire summer. And I think that is so important it is not because I think it's so easy to just like give the kids the game controllers or the iPads or the right. phones and just say like relax hang out but these are some activities and we're gonna go through some of them that you can do and it really doesn't take that much prep it doesn't take that much work to a get them started and B the kids are gonna really notice the difference I mean they're gonna be able to have fun but also stay sharp during the summer Exactly. Yeah, we're looking for ease and cost. Yeah. So, um, yeah, a few of them we're going to start with. It's funny talking about getting off a screen, but we're going to talk <laughs> about talk about the screen. A screen. Now, here's the difference: <laughs> computer science. Think of a computer like a car. We want our kids not to be passengers, but mechanics of that car. Yeah. And then there's plenty of jobs out there as well. Each month, there's about seventy six thousand openings for jobs in computer science. One hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. We're only graduating seven thousand computer science here in California. So there's tons of jobs. And all of these resources are free for you. So you have code.org. Instead of playing the video game, learn how to build the video game. Uh, Scratch Junior, another coding program. Microsoft uh, Microbit is a really great, cheap little computer. The kids love it at home to code that. And then, of course, you can even you don't even need a computer to learn computer science. You can do unplugged computing as well. How? How did you um, do that? <laughs> so again. <laughs> Part of computing and coding is learning the steps and being very detailed. Yeah. Okay. So just learning how to uh, make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and naming out each one of those steps, oh, you've actually that done actually. a yeah. code. Okay, cool. So let's talk about STEAM activities. STEAM, this is where I'm supposed to be an expert. So uh, <laughs> here's what we're going to do. What we're looking at with STEAM is we're going outside. We're doing things. Again, nature gives us so many learning opportunities. Let's take advantage of it. Just draw what you see. Draw and explain it. Can you see what you did? Can you try to figure out what's going on? Uh, PBS has great things as well. Grow a garden. I love that. We just started doing that uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, and then related all to the Olympics. We've got the Summer Olympics in Paris in July. Yeah, exactly right. And there's so many things you can do with the Olympics. One is building an archery set. Alex, don't worry. It's not real bows and arrows. <laughs> We're using I was concerned about that. One. Yes. Yes. I'm sending my kids to your house with no, those, goodness. actually. Yeah, uh, for the cats around the neighborhood. <laughs> using those. Uh, paint. Painting. That's a fantastic one. Uh, get a little messy with it. Why not? Find a perfect javelin launch angle. Yeah, seems I'm, I'm just going to say, <laughs> yeah. make sure that you have a good insurance policy. <laughs> there you go. I'm just joking. All right, let's talk quickly about the other activities really quick. And again, it's just taking advantage of what Kern County has to offer. We have Calm Zoo, great things. We have the Buena Vista Museum. I was just out there. It was amazing. I was staring face-to-face yeah. -face with a lion, and I was up uh, <laughs> learning about King Tut in the same area. So it's Very really cool. good. And just want to end as well that not all learning has to be structured. Give our kids time just to figure out what to do on their own. Let them go. create something. It doesn't have to be just ordered the entire time. Yeah. Give them that time to use their imagination. Let them be bored. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Stare at clouds. When's the last time you've heard of a kid just laying down and looking yeah. at clouds? If we have animals. a cloud in Bakersfield during the summer <laughs> the months. The smog, too. Whatever you <laughs> or the smog. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, All right, Justin. Thanks so much. Uh, all right.